Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines and I've taken the opportunity to catch up with Ostackle's new director Tracy Mammon and we're going to talk about uh, the industry, your fishing and uh, some of the great new products that Ostackle's got in their range. I'm 32 years old and I live on the Gold Coast. I live on the bigger waters at the moment so very close to the water. Get to see it every day but unfortunately don't always get to fish it every day. <laughs> um, your fishing history, uh, you grew up in the country in New South Wales? Yep, did a lot of walking in, in creeks and kayaking with my dad, fishing a lot for, for bass and trout in the Highland New England area. Yeah. Moved um, the uh, Ostack will make a good range of saltwater as well as freshwater lures. At some stage you've had to make the transition from freshwater to saltwater. Uh, did that happen here on the Gold Coast? Yes, it did actually. I joined a local fishing club and then I started competing in the ABT tournaments, which, were, which was a great opportunity to learn. So you're on a boat. I entered as a non-boater, so I fished with a lot of different people and a lot of ob observing and learning different skills and different lures. It was a great opportunity. And of course you're too modest to say that by the end of it you are get, touching up a fair few of the guys, myself included. Uh, we won't really talk about the scoreboard results there. Um, tell us a bit about the history with Ostackle. You've always got along well with Mike Cole from Ostackle. How did this opportunity arise? I've known Mike for a long time through the Gold Coast Sports Fishing Club and I've used a lot of Ostackle gear over the years as well. And yeah, in more recent times I guess, um, Mike's, Mike's been asking me for a long time to work with him. and. Um, I finally I took the opportunity to do it and yeah so now I've got at the back end trying to develop products and designing and using a lot of testing lures on the water and yeah just working out where we want to go with the company and get more people using lures. Um, I, I noticed that uh, one of the first changes you made you've got a new Ostacker logo there sitting on your cap uh, you would have had a fair bit to do with that? I did yeah I just thought it'd be nice to come up with something fresh and um, so we can take a whole new market on and something that's a little bit visible and yeah it's still got the, the kangaroo's been in the logo from the beginning one of Mike's daughters actually designed the kangaroo to begin with so we definitely wanted to keep that in there it's got a little bit of a family history yeah so new branding new packaging and lots of exciting things to come yeah that's right uh, obviously you're going to be going through the the full loss tackle range and I see some of the new products that have been released they, they not only work well but they, they look good and uh it's a very male-dominated industry. Uh, how are you finding uh, being one of the few females uh, at the top of the field? Well, I usually get a lot of attention. First off, I get tested a lot with questions. Um, people don't always expect you to know what you're talking about when the female talking about fishing. But um, usually, yeah, once you can answer a few questions and talk about technical things, then you, people learn pretty quickly that I, I can actually catch a fish here and there. So, yeah, there's no problem at all. Everyone's... I've had some, got some great friends in the industry now, so it's good. If there's one thing the tournament fishing teaches you, it's to uh, hold your own with the boys, because uh, that's pretty rough and tumble sport, that uh, the tournament brim fishing. There might be small fish, but there's a fair bit of tactics and uh, oh, yeah. techniques going in there, so I think you've had a, a good training for that. Um, where do you see the Ostackle brand in five years' time in Australia? I see, I'd like to see Oztackle as a little bit more of a household name amongst, um, amongst family anglers. We've already got a strong foothold in tournament fishing and we produce a lot of really good quality tournament lures, but I'd like people who just starting out with lures as well can go out there, take an Oztackle lure, know they can afford to buy a few of them, throw them in places where they might be a bit scared to, catch fish and just keep getting encouraged and keep working through the range and be able to target any bread and butter species and everything they want on an Oztackle lure. Um, if I want to get more information about Oztackle stuff, what's the website I go to? Uh, Oztackle.com.au <laughs>